It is looking more and more likely that the U.S. government could partially shut down at the end of next week. Republicans can't seem to get their house in order. Rebecca Castor has more from Washington. The halls of Congress mostly empty, with the House and Senate off until next week, even with the government barreling towards a shutdown. The House Rules Committee will still be working, though, prepping a series of spending bills for debate. Republicans who control the House can't seem to come together to keep the government funded. Hardliners want to slash the budget instead of supporting a temporary fix. We've got to have a reasonable number. We've got to stop this, this spending with the, what the Biden administration is doing. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says his far-right colleagues are derailing negotiations. But if the Speaker turns to Democrats for help, he could get ousted. Is the Speaker's job on the line? Yes, it is. Congress must pass 12 appropriation bills to prevent a shutdown, or else they need to pass a short-term bill to keep the funding flowing. But with the fiscal year ending on September 30th, lawmakers are running out of time. We should put the pain on members of Congress. Mm -hmm. If you can't get the budget bills passed, suspend their pay until they get it passed. If a shutdown happens, it would be the fourth time in a decade, closing national parks, monuments, and military training centers. Unless uh, McCarthy can rein his most extremist mega faction in, it's inevitable. The White House says this is not their job to fix, but warns Republicans that crucial government workers, including active duty military and federal law enforcement, would be forced to work without pay if the government shuts down. In Washington, Rebecca Castor. Fox News.